jobs. I never taught you that. Not in a hundred years. The, the set to pick the block up. That's a pick up one time. Set it down. Throw the head joints. Pick it up a second time. Put it in the wall. I want you going right to the wall. Speed and efficiency. My name's Dan Hildebottle, and I'm the masonry instructor here at the Williamson Trade School. The materials we work with in the masonry industry are concrete block, brick, stone, stucco, ceramic tile, and poured concrete. Like the floor you're standing on is poured concrete. The mortar we use in the masonry shop is practice mortar. It's sand and lime with no Portland cement. We even sift the lumps out of the mortar and reuse the mortar. The requirements for each student are that they purchase a set of bricklaying tools, safety equipment, work uniform, and masonry textbook. The students build block and brick projects listed on the progress chart in the front of the shop. And each student gets a picture of every successful project that they built. Any project that's graded less than 85% must be taken down and rebuilt. We stress quality first, speed or quantity second. With the pictures, the students can develop a portfolio to present at job interviews or to show potential customers. They have this technical masonry education in the theory room as well as the practical masonry skills on the shop projects and through actual on-the-job experience. When I mention actual on-the-job experience, you have to understand we built all the sidewalks on campus. We built the garage up on North Drive. We built a house for the, um, one of the staff personnel on South Campus. Employment projections done by the Department of Labor indicates there continues to be a shortage of skilled labor. And in Pennsylvania, masonry is a high priority training program. And most of my masonry students are already doing what we in the trades call side jobs. They're repairing sidewalks, repointing houses, building walls in the evenings and on the weekends. So they're technically already in business for themselves. And there are those companies out there that know the Williamson reputation that doesn't matter what shop they come from. I have a young man uh, right now in Houston, Texas. Um, his grandfather was a bricklayer. His older brother worked, is working at the Pentagon for Hansel Phelps as a project manager. Um, the second boy is in Houston, Texas. The third son is a senior, and I understand the fourth son is going to apply for masonry next year. So not only do we place them in good jobs, but that reputation is out there when you talk about that Williamson reputation. Uh, I picked Williamson for, I mean, it's obviously one of the best trade schools in the country. I heard about it through my dad and the guys he worked with uh, for company custom carpenters, uh, finished carpenters too, called Rinker and Brown. I worked with them for a while and the majority of the guys that worked there, uh, they graduated from here so they were all recommending the school to me. At first I was thinking about taking a carpentry end of it but um, I come from a long line of masons through my family. Like, I think six generations before my dad they were all masons so I wanted to get my hands on it too. Um, I did carpentry all through high school. And when I came to check out the school, they told me I should try to broaden my horizons. So I picked something I've never done before. Uh, I've always lived in the area. I've always heard that it's the greatest trade school in the country, and it lives up to that. Mm -hmm.